Hello friends, good morning. Today I am going to explore how you can register landed cost and landed cost with different currency than company currency and how it is actually works. So first of all, I have enabled landed cost under inventory and then also enable currencies over here. My main currency is Indian rupees and then I have UAE, Euro, and USD All right and then I have created few service type products which I can add as a landed cost like freight charges and then given here as a landed cost and then my you know vendor preferred vendor is selling me freight charges in euro currency likewise I have second product labor charges which I am buying in local currency and then I have uh, another one also it is freight labor and custom duty so custom duty I am paying in USD so which is again a landed cost now I have created two different product which is storable and then I am just making a purchase from my vendor okay. and those product are new product one which I am buying 100 unit new product two which I am buying 1000 unit, let's say 10,000 unit. So total bill goes to 126,000. So this is the first step I am doing and I am receiving those items at my warehouse. And this is my inward towards my warehouse, which I do remember. And now <coughs> I am uh, creating uh, simply first let me create a vendor bill the vendor bill goes today and I am also opening another tab to see our accounting impact of it so if I go to my ledger we can see inventory goes up with both the stock 1 lakh and 20,000 with respective to CPU vendor and then this will also create its counterpart entry one is credit one is debit because I have created the bills and the other part is vendor bill which is part of creditors now this part is done and uh, I would like to register my extra bills so first I will take my custom duty vendor and I will say I will pay custom duty in let's say euro okay and I am paying uh, 50 euro okay so here I can see the impact in foreign currency as well as in our main company currency in INR right I don't want to include any GST over here it's a custom duty so this is I will do and create a landed cost I confirm this bill and when I press create landed cost I will select my transfer where I wanted to apply it and then I just tap compute and this is the value it will adjust automatically so you can see my vendor bill is in euro but as soon as I generated my landed cost it automatically convert my currency to INR according to this value 4469 correct so this is the first vendor uh, bill associated with my landed cost I am validating it and then we'll look at our ledger where stock uh, valuation will increase so here my stock valuation will increase for product 1 and product 2 respectively with the quantity and you can see the custom duty over here 
okay and in credit also you can see 50 euro so this is one part now i am going again and creating another vendor bill uh, for my freight vendor and uh, freight vendor was charging me let's say usd i will say freight charges and i am paying 200 dollar of freight charges without gst and here is the counterpart effect so i am registering this particular vendor bill and now creating landed cost so here i am again selecting my preferred transfer and then compute it and here is the values and adjustment according to quantity right and i am simply validating it so here now if we rule relook at our ledger you can see my inventory goes up with this amount on counterpart stock received but not built will be here and then creditors with 200 dollar so very simple way you can register first your vendor bill in any respective currency you deal with your vendor and then you can go and register your landed cost it will automatically convert your foreign currency into your company currency so this is the example very uh, easy for many people many accountant uh, which can help to manage uh, their you know respective landed cost kind of vendor bills and then connecting it back to our receipt hope this will help many people in the real-time scenario. Thank you very much.